Uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, term discuss further into polar coordinates and now go over example five of the example series and go over straight lines using polar coordinates. And, and this one will solve this quick example just to show you how you could draw some kinds of straight lines pretty easily using polar coordinates. So the example says sketch the polar curve theta equals one. Yeah, so this curve or this equation, well, uh, the answer to this, well, this curve consists of all the points R theta such that the polar angle theta is one radian. And we're going to assume we're dealing with radian. So unless stated otherwise, if it's in degrees or not, we'll just stick with radians by convention. And you can learn more about radians in my earlier video. I'll put that in the video description below. So basically, all the points are in theta when theta is equal to 1 radian. So it is thus just a straight line that passes through the origin O and makes an angle of 1 radian with the polar axis as shown below. So if it's all points that have the same angle, so let's say we had the origin O like this, and here's the polar axis. I'll draw it as an x-axis like that or polar axis and what we have is let's say the angle one is something like this theta equals to one so this means uh, so then basically any point on this so all we do is draw a straight line like this or a better one like that and this could be at for example let's say over here this could be the point uh, this could be the distance r as one this could be two this could be three etc so then, for example, at this point, it would be 1, 1. At this point, this would be 2, 1. Or r is equal to 2, theta is equal to 1. And this one here, uh, you could have 3, 1, etc. But you could also go backwards. So you can go backwards, and it will be a straight line. And when we go backwards, remember that what we do is end up having a negative uh, value. So we get a negative 1 here for r, negative 2 set our negative three, and then this point here is gonna be negative one, and the angle is just one. Here's gonna be negative one and one, and here is going to be, um, yeah, just like uh, corresponds to that one, negative three and one over there. And yeah, so what we end up having is just a straight line through the origin. If you had a different angle, it would be, it could be a crisscross this way, etc. And you could, as you could picture, you could have just unlimited types of lines going through the origin with very basic equations like theta equals 1 or theta equals 2, etc. So notice that the points R1 on the line with R is greater than 0, just another note, is uh, are in the first quadrant. So in this case we have R is greater than 1, I'm um, greater than 0. Then what we have is this line where all of these points here are in the first quadrant to the right and whereas those in the R is uh, less than zero, as a typo not greater than, so in the R less than, or in other words, in the R is negative, here R is less than zero, what we have is this line is through the third quadrant, i.e. the opposite quadrant. Just, just to clarify further, let's say we had curves like this, let's say this is our X, and this, this, this is just to represent the quadrant. Remember, quadrants are, you have four like this. This is one, this is two, and this is three, and this is four. So if we had an angle like this, so if this is theta one, and this is r is greater than zero, so then when we have r is less than zero, we go to the third quadrant. So we have one all the way to three. And yeah, this is, this is pretty much a basic, obvious observation. Also, similarly, if you were to starting off where R is, uh, let's say, up to this quadrant, if you make the angle, so let's say in red we had an angle like this, and we'll call this, uh, I'll draw it here, theta 2. So then we have a line like this, and then let's say we have R is greater than 0 in this case, but then the backwards of it will be from the fourth quadrant, we go to the second quadrant like that, and this point here is or these points are when r is less than zero. So we just go opposite quadrant like that. So anyways, that is all for today. Uh, hopefully you'll learn from this quick example just to show you you can draw straight lines through the origin using polar angles, and that's just writing uh, the angle as a constant. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.